beauty is in the eyes of the beholder same goes for science too there is science in everything around us from a straw to a satellite from a matchbox to a missile we only have to see it functioning when one has that spirit called scientific temper the whole world is a laboratory and everything is a tool to learn science one man with that spirit has brought science from the inaccessible and intimidating labs right into every common man's everyday life with his toys made out of trash he is none other than padma shri arvind gupta a name synonymous with science toys and fun an engineering graduate from iit kanpur arvind gupta began his career in telco but soon realized that he was not made to make trucks taking a year study leave in 1978 when he was just 23 he started working with the grassroots village science teaching program for children in the tribal district of hashangabad madhya pradesh he fell in love with simple science and within no time found that toy making was better than making trucks since then he has been working relentlessly and passionately with everyday throw away things and made hundreds of toys to teach science concepts as einstein said play is the ultimate form of research retaining the childlike curiosity and enthusiasm arvind gupta still gets fascinated by the simple science around us and wants children to make their own toys and play with them an avid book lover he penned 27 books on improvised low cost science activities and innovative science toys Wonders from Waste, Women on Wheels, Hands on Math, Toys from Trash, Sci Fun, Fun with Leaves are a few to mention. Apart from writing science articles in different magazines, he has translated as many as 170 science books into Hindi, including his own works. He has to his credit incredible 8500 short films on toys from trash uploaded on YouTube. and 128 tv programs he was also featured in programs like living on the edge mad national geographic channels science safari in his 40 plus years of romantic journey with science he has been a messiah that spread the spirit of science across the country keeping simplicity and affordability as his guiding principles He has shown how even the poorest communities can excite the young minds with everyday science. Single-handedly, he wooed thousands of children and adults into the magical world of science and proved that big things can be made from small things. Awards acquire more dignity and nobility when bestowed upon people like Arvind Gupta. National Award for Science Popularization Among Children National Association for the Blind Award for designing appropriate teaching aids for visually impaired children Hari Om Ashram Award by UGC the Indira Gandhi Award for Science Popularization the CNR Rao Foundation Award for outstanding science teacher and Padma Shri by the government of India are only a few among the many awards he received for Abhyas Vidyalayam Where children are encouraged to explore and experiment with things and to think creatively. It's a great privilege and a dream come true to have this inspiring man of science amongst us. We are more than excited and also deeply thankful to Sri Arvind Gupta for giving us this great opportunity. From all the children and adults of Abhyas Vidyalayam and all the other enthusiasts attending this much awaited interaction a hearty and warm welcome to the 42nd session of Click Talks Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. So we are very happy to have you with us uh, today. 
and also very much excited to uh, see you working with your hands. Uh, uh, there are um, more than 200 participants today. It's a huge gathering. I'm, I'm very sure that the participants here with us will have an exciting, enlightening experience by the end of this session. Thanks, sir. I'll start. It has been a dream for a long time for me to meet you personally. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, many times thought of uh, coming uh, with the Subhras Garu, but it not, did not happen. Very unfortunate that he is now. Uh, so, to let the participant get maximum time from you, I conclude here with grace, respect and a lot of thanks from all of our Abhyas Vidyalaya members and the participants. I request you to address the audience. Right. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for this uh, very, very generous introduction. Uh, this lecture I would dedicate to our mutual friend, Dr. Yu Subar. So you are muted. Even at the best of times, your school must be very exceptional. But in most schools, children, do, even when they go to school, they don't have access to the laboratory. Many schools don't have a science lab to start with. And even if some elite schools, good schools, have a science lab, the teacher would just take them there and at best demonstrate how to make oxygen. But children don't get a chance to mess around with material, to work with their own hands. So COVID is the best time uh, to look for ordinary things around you and see the possibilities of doing great science. I'm going to give you uh, a few examples of that. You know, one example is a simple, humble matchbox. A matchbox is something accessible to the poorest child. Uh, they say, if you don't have the matchbox, you can't light the home fires. Now, the experiment is that give every child the same matchbox and ask them that they've got to pack in one specimen each of very, very small things around them. And they have a week's time for doing that. And the child who's able to pack the maximum number of things in a matchbox, mind you, once one sample of each gets a price. Now the children go back home and for the first time, they start searching for small things. They go to their mother's kitchen and they find a mustard seed. They put a mustard seed. They put a cumin seed. They put a mirchi seed, a chili seed. They find a strand of hair. They find a piece of thread. They find a small rubber band. They find a small leaf and they put it in. And for the first time, the children are looking at the world of the micro. In one of these experiments, one child was able to pack in more than 250 things in a matchbox. Now this is, science is all about, not about big laboratories, fancy equipment, but it's a viewpoint. How critically, how, how critically do we examine phenomena around us? Uh, and this is a very nice experiment. Uh, there is a very nice definition of science given by the Buddha 2,500 years back, which said, believe nothing because it has been told by your teachers. Believe nothing because it is written in your holy books. Believe nothing just because your grandfather tells you. Taste everything against reality. And if you find it to be true, and if you find it, find it benefits large numbers of people, then you embrace it. Now that's the definition of science, which is still valid, very, very valid. Uh, I'm going to show you two more small experiments with a matchbox. Now here's a matchbox. You can see this is the outside drawer. And what we have done is just put a paper clip, taped it, and one more paper clip at the side. And there is a thread going through it. The paper clip is slightly popping out and I just fix in the drawer to make it heavier. Now, if I just take both these threads and I look at this. The matchbox comes shimmering down. There's too much weight on one side, too little on the other. Something which costs very little money to do, but great fun for children. It makes them think. 
This is another one, the matchbox is called as a matchbox train. Now, this is essentially a matchbox with one thread with a long needle to just weave a thread. This is how the thread goes. Now this is called as a matchbox train. And you can see in this train, I'm holding both the loops in my hands like this. And if I move my right hand, the just train goes like this. Great fun for children. You can make this in five minutes. I pull this back. Back again. You need to go in one direction. Very, very simple, ordinary plastic straw. I flatten it on one side. And I'm going to cut a small. You can see it's like a point. Now it's like a baby crocodile's mouth. If you look at this. It's like a baby crocodile's mouth opening and closing. This is the reed. I'm going to put this in my mouth and, and blow very hard. It makes a very, very loud. But you see how loud it comes from? Because this reed was hidden in my mouth. I'm going to keep this outside the reed. And now you see what happens. It's opening and closing very fast. It's vibrating. Vibrations produce sound. Children don't have to mouth this up. They can actually experience it, have great fun, and learn science. Now what we have done is we have just made a few two holes in this straw. You can see two holes over here. One hole and two holes. Now what we are doing is we are inching towards a, a kind of a flute. My reed is already there. Now once again. You can hear a few notes in this. And of course the third experiment is a very nice experiment. You keep blowing at it, and with the scissors, you keep cutting it and making it shorter and shorter. And something very, very nice happens. We saw that the longer the straw, the lower the pitch. And the shorter it becomes, the higher goes the pitch. This is a very, very short straw. And you can see it's got a very, very loud pitch. And you can make very funny sounds with this. Just cup your hands. I think all of you would have great fun playing with a straw like that. Well, this is a fat straw. As you can see, this is a fat straw. And what I've done is I've just cut these notches. Can you see these V notches? Three deep V notches, four V notches, and then taken a thread. This thread is woven through the straw and you take it out over here. Here is a knot and you put a tape over here. This is taped. That's the small experiment and you can just see. If I pull this thread, there's a thread hanging below. What happens? Look at this. It's just like a finger. It's like animated finger like this. It's like a robotic finger. Very simple to make. A third very nice experiment is this. I have a fat straw over here. And I just made a hole over here. And taped both these ends are sealed. And then you nip a, a small corner over here. There is a hole here. And bottom left corner top right corner. So two diametrically opposite corners, you make small holes for the air to come out. Now this is a spinner which is going to spin. And this green thing is my blowing straw. You can see that this straw has a hole. You can see this hole over here. Can you see this hole? I'm putting the small hole over here. Why this hole? Because if I, if I shut this end and I blow, air will come out at right angles from the soil. So I put this blowing straw inside my spinner straw, shut this end with my index finger. And when I blow, shh, 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 
who it takes less than five minutes to make a toy like that. Huh? Note the direction of rotation. If I take the straw spinner and I upturn this, then the you can also make it with a fruity straw. This is a fruity straw, and you can see the hole. This is the hole over here. Ordinary straw. Once again. Great fun for children. I started my journey way back in 1978. This is more than 42 years back. I was in a small village in Madhya Pradesh. And the program was called as Hushingabad Science. And we said that we must look for local materials. There was a weekly bazaar. There were no shops, no malls, just a weekly bazaar where people spread out their wares on the roadside. And I said that I must buy one specimen of each and try and see possibilities of doing science using whatever was available in the village. When I was getting my bicycle inflated, I saw this tube hanging. You probably recognize this tube. This is cycle valve tube, where you actually pump in air in the bicycle, use a bit of this. This tube is sold by weight. You can buy a 100 gram packet of this for about 35 rupees. Now what you can do is, if, if you take this cycle valve tube, about just about an inch, about two centimeters, two matchsticks go in very snugly and the meat head on. And you make a very nice flexible joint like this. And you can make all kinds of angles. The acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, reflex. It's like a universal coupling. You can transfer drive at any angle. If you use three of these, you can make a triangle. With four, you make a square. You make a pentagon, you make a hexagon. You can make all these kinds of polygons with them, which are very interesting properties. If you look at the hexagon, for instance, all these joints are flexible. If you just pull this out, it becomes a rectangle. If you just push this in, this becomes like a parallelogram. But this is like an amoeba, which is constantly changing out profile. If you look at the pentagon, well, the pentagon pulls out, becomes a boat shape, becomes a trapezium, becomes a house shape, becomes an isosceles triangle, but very, very shaky. If you, if you inspect the square, for instance, the square, if you push it, it becomes a rhombus. It becomes like a kite shaped, but very, very shaky. Then you give a child a triangle. And no matter what she does, you can't do a thing to a triangle. A triangle remains a triangle. Why study all the triangles? Because they're very, very important for living. You can't make a house with a roof truss like this because if you put tiles on top, it would collapse. You can't make a bridge with square members because if the train would come, the bridge would be very, very shaky. It would fall down, collapse. So if you wish to make any structure rigid, you have to divide it into triangles. Now, this is the first part. And then what you can do is you can take, you can make a hole in this joint of two and push a third matchstick. Here is a joint of three or a T-joint. If I take the, if I take this triangle, make holes in the three vertices, I can put this tripod inside them. And what I would make would be a very nice tetrad. And this is the tetrad. It's the strongest three-dimensional structure found in nature. If you put four marbles, three would sit at the base, one on the top. There it is. And so you make the molecular structure of methane, CH4, four atoms with the hydrogen at the four corners of the tetrahedron. In between is a little carbon atom. And once you make, this is a prism, for instance, you can put the a tetrahedron on top of the prism and you make a small, small, temple or a house. Um, you take the cube, for instance. If you take the cube and you can put a pyramid on top and make a real nice village house. The nice thing about, you can similarly make a joint of six, you can make a joint of four, and with a joint of four and six, there are many, many possibilities of construction. This is called as an icosahedron. Just just matchsticks, you can also use the broomsticks, coconut broomsticks. And the nice thing about this, you can flex this. And this becomes like a rad dome. You can flex this. And you can make a geodesic dome. A lot of possibilities exist. The only thing to buy is a cycle valve tube. Matches are at home. So if, if you can show children the possibilities of doing science with ordinary things around them, 
then it is, it is much more likely the children would be interested in science. I'm going to show you a very, very, some paper toys, for instance. Now, what we do is we take all our papers, all newspapers, all magazines, and cut them into little squares. The, this is the cheapest paper available, all magazine paper, all newspapers. Now, if I just take the square and I fold it along the diagonal, I make a big triangle. If I fold this again into half, I make a small triangle. And you can see this is like the letter V, V for van. They also look like the ears of an animal. And I'm just going to hold these and tear two long and slightly rounded ears. And this, if I fold this in the front, fold this in the back, then I have a very nice, this is Mr. Rabbit. You can see the rabbit. If I hold the tail and I push the tail forwards and backwards, the, the rabbit flaps its ears. Now you saw it just took 10 seconds to make a toy like that. It will bring a smile on every child's face. This is not craft. This is very amazing stuff. When I was a little child like you, 50, 60 years back, I made little toys like that. That's what got me interested in them. You take a, you take a little strip of paper. Here is a little strip of paper. little strip of paper. And I made two cuts. One cut is over here. You can see this cut. And another cut is below. One cut above, the other cut below. And now what we can do is we can just interlock them. And what is the shape you create? It's, it's a shape of a fish. A fish is supposed to swim in water. But this is not a swimming fish. It's a flying fish. If you were just to throw this up in the air, it will come tumbling down. Amazing sight. Someone must have seen a eucalyptus leaf falling from a tree, coming rolling down and designed this. Very, very beautiful. It's the simplest flying object. Similarly, you can make a wonderful, I'm sure many of you must have made this helicopter. It's again a 15 second toy and one of the most popular toys. You can make variations, you can make a bigger helicopter, smaller helicopter, thick paper, thin paper, all kinds of variations. And that would give you some feel as to how things fly. Well, if you take a quarter piece of an A4 size paper, this is, a, this, what, what is a, just a quarter sheet. And then you fold this like this, This is called as a clapper. And you can just see why it's called as a clapper. I'm just going to. No glue, no scissors. See the story. It also makes a bit of a sound. And because it's a moving toy, it's very, it's a dynamic toy. The sitting ducks, children get bored with them very easily. But something which moves, makes sounds, runs, flies, jumps, more interesting for children. So this is a clapper. Like the rabbit, here is another one. Again, a two minute toy, it's a flapping butterfly. Look at this. And these have all been documented in small films. You all from Andhra Pradesh, we have 800 videos in Telugu, which you would enjoy. Go to my website, arvindguptatoys.com, go to films, Click Telugu and you find 800 videos there in Telugu, right? And they would help you a lot. Look at this very beautiful toy. What you see is butterflies, frogs, snakes, e eagles, butterflies, frogs, snakes, eagles, butterflies. Four pictures which come in a sequence one after the other. This is made out of paper. And if you have four pictures in a sequence, you can tell a story. Now, what, what, what is the possible story in this? Butterflies are insects. Insects are eaten by the frogs. Frogs are eaten by the snakes. Snakes are eaten by the eagles. It's like a food chain. Every child will tell you. And this is so much more fun to learn about. And how do you make it? If you have an A4 size paper like this, print it on one side, white on the other, one scale and a pencil. No glue, no scissors. 
in three minutes you can fold this and here is the flex skin. this is called as a flex skin and you can just keep no glue at all in this you might be in a village you might be in a small town but this does not require much resources just a piece of paper a scale and a, and a pencil and in three minutes you can fold the flex skin this was designed by a mathematician at Harvard in 1928. Amazing, amazing toy. Another one is this 14 page unending book. Look at this. You see this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This is the last page, it starts again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 19, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, here it just requires two squares and a little bit of glue. Once again, in five minutes, you can make a toy. If you have a story, and all children love stories, then you can take a story, make pictures, 14 pictures, and put them. Picture number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then you have a rotating, moving, dynamic, Picture book, great fun to do in school. This is much more than craft, just more than sticking colored paper. This is much deeper than that. Uh, like you just saw the, you saw the butterfly, and there's also a, you can also make a bird like that. square I just showed you how to make a but how to make a rabbit now this is a bird again made from a square piece of paper like this no scissors no glue this is documented history kids in Japan have been making this for 300 years documented history just a square piece of paper and your 10 little fingers and you make this very beautiful bird all of you must learn how to make the stupid things we do in our school, our kids spend tens of years in schools without learning anything worthwhile, right? But this you must learn. Un unmatched, unchallenged for 300 years. Just this, no glue, no scissors, no geometry box. You can do this. Why can't we teach our children this? And what we did, we took the same bird and we put a helicopter in the tail. Can you see the helicopter? It's a bit of a refill and a pin rotating inside. And you see, it's a fantail bird. Can you see this fantail bird? Great fun for children. This is eco-friendly. Uh, it's very low cost. The poorest child can afford this. Pick up old ball pin refills near your school because they're very, very useful. You can do many, many things with them. Uh, look at this story. This probably uh, is an Andhra toy. In the past, it would be made out of palmyra leaves. It's like a old folk toy. Now, this is like an acrobat or a joker. You can see the head and the body, they are doubled up. And between them, there is a crevice where you put the shoulder. And how they're attached? With a thread and a needle. You, you can see these are threads. You take a thread, pull it out with a needle, tie knots at both ends. So both these hands and arms can move. And this is the broomstick. Now, if I just look at this, what a dynamic. And children learn a great deal without being taught. It is adult arrogance that we teach. All children in the world were sent by the Lord above to learn. Every child is a born learner and a scientist. And look, if, if I just spin this with both my hands, it's like a flying man. Right? This is what centrifugal force is all about. If you spin something, it tends to fly out. And this is precisely what this man is doing, flying out. So children intuitively grasp many principles of science through play. And when they encounter real science, they have such a rich experiential base that these, all these concepts just fall by. I give you a very, very nice example of the simple electric motor. Now here is a 1.5 volt battery which you would use any torch. It's a new battery. 
because for any output you need an input. If this battery was drained off, it would not work. It would be black magic. And what is this? This is a magnet. And the magnet, it need not be a circular magnet. You can have a square, rectangular magnet. This black thing is cycle valve tube, the cycle tube, old cycle tube. You cut a broad rubber band. And these are two safety pins. Now the safety pins are snug with the plus and the minus of the battery. So there is 1.5 volts across this. Then I just make, this is my coil. This is made from a insulated copper wire. Use some motor rewinding, one feet, one meter of this. And if I place this inside this, there goes my motor. 10 minutes to make an electric motor. How many of you make an electric motor? This is not a rich man's game. In your, in, in, at home, the fan has electric motor, the cooler has electric motor, the fridge has electric motor, the washing machine, the mixie, all of these have electric motors. But very few of our children ever make electric motor. If a child makes electric motor like this, makes it run, then you would see a gleam in the child's eyes. They'll be hooked to science. They would say, we want to do no other subject but science because it's such an interesting subject, right? And how much does it cost if you have the battery? Just five rupees to make a motor. Never buy kits. All these kits are commercial and junk. Don't buy kits. Clever people always collect things and they make things out of trash. Old plastic bottles, go to my website, 100 toys, old plastic bottles are becoming a menace. Very difficult to recycle. Even the government is, is, is installing water vending machines on stations. The people can bring the bottle, pay five rupees, get a liter of water. People are interested in the water, not the plastic bottle. A hundred experiments with old plastic bottles. Very, very nice electric motor. In my city of Pune, one lakh children have made this electric motor. It puts a, it puts, makes children very, very happy to make it. This is one of those great projects where you can do anything wrong, but you can still rectify it, you can still repair it, you can still retrieve it. That's the nice thing about the electric motor. Most of our children who go to engineering never make an electric motor, which is, sort of, which is the, the sad way we teach our children engineering. How will they learn real engineering? Only by doing real things, not by doing phony things. Here is another one, a very interesting tool. And this is, a, this is a small generator. You can see this. Here is a syringe. You can see an injection, a 10 ml injection. And these are, these are called as neodymium magnets. They're very, very strong. These are rare earths. If I have two of them stuck together, I can't separate them. They cling to each other very, very strongly. But they go into the barrel of this very easily. Can you see this? Can you see the two of them moving inside very freely? And then I put a rubber stop so that they don't fall off. And you can see this is copper wire, thin copper wire. You need a thousand turns. Children take half an hour from start to end to make a toy like that. Uh, the start and the end, the copper wires, which are insulated. You remove the insulation and you put a small LED. Can you see the LED? This is a small LED. Now, I hold the syringe, and if I shake the syringe, the magnets will move back and forth. It's like a strong magnetic field going like this, and lines of forces would be cut, and an EMF would be generated, and you can see what happens to this LED. The LED lights up. We are actually generating electricity. There is no battery anywhere. This is how the biggest generators in the world work. The principle does not change. The principle remains the same. They may be much more bigger in size, but this is it's like a moving, moving magnetic field inside a coil generates a see this. Half an hour to make it. And these magnets are about 20, 25 rupees each. The total cost may be 70, 80 rupees. Just the copper wire, maybe 10 rupees. Not, not, not very expensive. 
very doable by our children. And imagine how empowering they are. Imagine a very, very backward village with their, their power cuts for seven hours, eight hours. It's a routine thing. If a girl child makes a generator, it's totally empowering. She will say, today I light one LED, tomorrow I can light up my village. It is truly empowering for a child. Well, <clears throat> something else out of this. Now, this is a, a rage a couple of years back. These are fidget spinners. They've got a ball bearing in the center, so it spins very fast. So what we did, the same magnets, new dynamic. Can you see? This is a new dynamic stuck. Three new dynamic is stuck. And, and here is a coil. You can see the coil once again. This is the electric coil. 1,000 turns attached to LED. Now, the nice thing is that I can spin this. Can you see the bulb lighting? See the bulb? Because it spins very fast, you can make it better. Uh, but this is something called as a levitating pencil, which one has one glory. Here's a piece of rubber. And we have put four magnets over here. And you can see this is a piece of CD. Now there is a pin with two magnets. And the front magnets, they attract each other. Can you see? They're north, south, so they attract each other. The rear ones are same pole, so they repel. The rear ones push the pin up. Now the rear ones are pushing, the front ones are pulling. So you can see that the pen, the pen is attracted. And I can just balance it. It's hanging. It is levitating. I put this piece of CD over here. It's something very smooth for the pen to spin on. And if I put this over here, it spins, it levitates, and it writes. Something which costs 10 rupees to make. Uh, all over the world, there are these maglev cranes, magnetically levitating cranes. And children get a very good feel for them. And this is not just meant for the elite schools. We don't have a vision. If we have a vision, we can bring science to our, to a very, very, Sunita, we can, we can bring science to a, a very, very remote schools. We can reach the science. This is the, the levitating pencil. Now here is this. Here is something made from a, a old rubber slipper. Once the rubber slipper, the strap breaks, we just throw it away without a second thought. Now this is kind of a Montessorian puzzle meant for children. And you can see that it's white on one side, black on the other. If you have a symmetric shape, you can put this in. Imagine a blind child can just feel the outline and say that it's a rectangle. There are no sharp edges anywhere. We have 12 million blind children. Hmm? One crore and 25 lakh blind children in our country. We made 40 teaching aids for blind children, for the visually impaired using the rubber slippers. We've got to apply our mind every time, not just ape the West, something which is nowadays, a lot of these toys have lots of fancy LED lights. Hmm? And they make so much of noise, all imported cheap toys. We must, we must get rid of them. We must make our children think and think very deeply and they will come up. I will give you one example of a, a toy which uh, the children designed. These are children of a municipal school, a very, very poor school. Now, first, this, this is a bicycle spoke, as you can see. And these are these ring magnets. If I just put this ring magnets over here and leave it, can you see the spoke is vibrating? And this is a small, it's cut from a plastic bottle. It's a small hoop. I made two holes, weave this spoke in one hole, put the two magnets and weave it through the second hole. And there you are.
and you can obtain this. These are seventh class children. There is no reference in literature to a toy like that. Our children are just not consumers of knowledge. They're producers of knowledge. We must, we must give them the freedom to produce, to explore. There's a little variation of this. Here is the paper cup. You drink tea, coffee, and you throw away the cup. We just made a hole in the cup. You can see a hole. There is a hole over here. Take two magnets, one from inside, one from outside. The two magnets, they stick to each other. No glue required. And then you take the cycle spoke and you put the spoke over here. There you go. Seventh class children. So each of you, each one of you is a scientist, is an inventor. Think deeply. Question everything. Once again. See this once again. And there you are. This is a toy which has been there for the last hundred years. Now, what is this toy? Here is a pencil with a rubber on one end. You know, if, if you write something, something, some mistake you make, you can rub it off. But these pencils are very easily available. We have made five or six notches. Can you see these notches, V notches? Then take a card sheet, make a fan, make a big hole in the middle and push a pin inside. This fan should be a bit loose, not tight fit, right? And then you take a broomstick. This is a broomstick, coconut. And if I just rub this, something amazing happens. This toy has been a darling of physics teachers for the last hundred years. Five major research papers on this toy. This is non-trivial physics. But every child can do this, right? Most schools are boring. I've been to 3,000 schools. They were boring from the word go. And if something very boring is going on in the classroom, then you can take out your pencil and start playing. This is one way to survive a school, right? That's what clever people do. Right? Invent their own toys and games so they can survive school. Right? It's a very, very nice toy. But we make lots and lots of pumps. I'm going to show you uh, what, what, one, one pump. And this is the pump which you can inflate. Here's a balloon. And you put the thing over here, and there you are. It's the real pump. If I keep doing like this, I can burst this balloon. And we have a very, we have a slogan that the best thing a child can do with a toy is to break it. It's a very provocative statement. Why do children break toys? Because they're so inquisitive, they're so curious, they want to know what is inside the tummy of this toy. And a good toy should be such that children can dissect the entire thing. They can take it apart. Here's a piece of old cycle tube. And this is a film can. And you can see in this film can, we have made two valves. Can you see this valve opening and closing? It's just a bit of tape. If I blow from here, it opens. If I suck in, my suction valve. And similarly, this is my delivery valve just two valves. And if you can inflate a balloon with a pump, which means it's a very, very high quality pump. Very, very high. I can on a hot summer day, I can do like that and get a bit of freeze on myself. Very, very nice pump. We make 30 different kinds of pumps go to my website. This is again, you can see this, you can probably recognize this. This is a woven sack used for transporting wheat, rice, fertilizer. And what we have done is just taken a few strands from it. Taken about 10 strands from it and tied a knot. Can you see the knot over here? And that's it. If I hold them together, if I just suspend them and just rub them with my, with my thumb and my index finger, look at this. They've all acquired electric charge and they are repelling each other. Look at, if I bring my hand, what happens? My hand is an opposite charge. 
what a fine experiment on el static electricity. Why don't our state institutes, the SCRTs, NCRTs, they apply their mind and use stuff like this? Then our children in remote villages are much more. It just shows how alienated our educationists are with the lives of our people, right? They only see these fancy lads with burets and pipettes, nothing beyond that. But look at this. If you want to discharge it, put it. That's it. Discharge. Again, charge it, rub it. Costs no money at all. If you get a gunny bag, plastic woven sack, the whole school can take the experiment home to their villages. That's the power of the science. Now, this is with tetra packs. You can see this very, very nice. This is the tetra pack, fruity packets, dara packets. They must have made inroads into your village also. Now this is, if you just cut the top of a fruity packet, this is the less C packet. How much does it hold? If you measure the length, the width, and the height, multiply them, it's 200. You can read 200 ml milliliters. This is a very nice measure for 200 ml. If I just cut this into half, this becomes 100 ml. And cut into a quarter, you make a measure for 50 ml. Very nice. Arun Gupta ji, you are not here. Uh, no, no, you can hear me now. Yeah, you can hear me now. Yeah, yeah. And your uh, video is unstable, sir. Your bandwidth is very low today. Uh, probably. <laughs> uh, well, this is a this is a, a wire. You know the binding wire. You have construction work and these steel rods. They bind. Now this wire is sold by weight. Take about two feet of it and tie it on a pencil. And you make a small spring, pull out the spring. Now this is the spring. This becomes a spiral. And what we have done is in the spiral, we have put some. Oh, where is it falling off? Oh. <laughs> so one of the toys have fallen. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can make a very, very nice toy out of it. I'm not able to show you. It's just falling off. It doesn't matter. Now, what else? Another toy which I want to show you is the skeleton. Yes, oh, no. the spiral snake is over here. This is, look at this. Now these are pieces of colored straw, red, yellow, green, blue, and look at this. A oh, very nice, it's like a spiral snake. These are not beads. These are pieces of scarlet straw. Very nice. Look at this. If you have an A4 size paper, this is A4 size paper, half of this paper. And you make a skeleton. You make the skull, you make the rib cage, you make the pelvis, tibia, fibia. The human body has 200 odd bones from class three or four. All you need is a bit of a glue and a scissors, and you can make the skeleton. And it's such a nice project to make. And then you ask children, tell me, today there is so much of communalism in the country. People of one religion are out to kill people of other religions, which is such a sad thing. You ask them, tell me, look at this skeleton. Each one of us stands on a skeleton like this. Is this a skeleton of a, of a Muslim, of a Hindu, of a Sikh? Ask them very deep questions because our minds have been poisoned by many. Uh, the Genome Project only demonstrated the unity of all human beings, that we all share the same humanity and we must not fall to uh, these wrong things. 
very nice model of a skeleton. Another use for the Tetra Pak, we have many, many videos on how to make, this is how to make a purse. Now this is a one liter Tetra Pak. Can you see these two pockets? And there's actually a 10 rupee, a 10, a 10 rupee note lying inside. So you put all your money and your change over here. There is a bit of Velcro. You can shut this and you can put this in your pocket. A very, very nice. How to make it? You can see this. It's shown in a small, uh, this small uh, 200 ml. You cut off one flap completely. And then tuck both these sides in. Fold this into half. And you can see these two middle walls, which I'm holding, the two middle ones, these you staple. And you've got a small purse over here, right over here with a flap. And you can put a flap. Very nice way to make a purse. It's waterproof in the range. You can keep your money, it will be safe for you. Um, another small toy is this very nice flapping thing. Our, our website is full of uh, uh, such small toys. Now this is, you can see an ex exercising man. Look at this. Look at the back of it. Just need a bit of card sheet. This is a, this is a coconut broomstick. And very nice exercising man. Children like this kind of dynamism. Something which moves, something which spins, something which makes sound, something which flies, something which jumps. This is what excites children. They live in a dynamic world. Something which is static, they get bored of very, very soon. So we have 1100 toys on our website. I would urge you, um, I would send sir a link, uh, a Google Drive link. He will share with you. All my books, have, all my books are in one Google Drive. All my 27 books you can download in one go. We had never worked for royalties or for profits. Uh, our, our children are as good or as bad as anyone else. The education terrain is very, 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 very dreary, stony. It's a very bad terrain. Even if there was a good child, there is no soil for the child. The child will wilt away because there is no, no nutrition available, no soil. Our small task is to make a handful of soil every day. Because unless there is soil, there would never be a spring harvest. So all these things are free. We have had nine crore children view our films on YouTube. I urge you to see them. Download, I'll send a link to sir, and he will share with you. You can download all my books. And during COVID times, when schools are, are not opening, you can have a wonderful time making toys, doing science experiments at home. Thank you very much. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Gupta ji. Thanks. Very exciting session, like every time. <laughs> uh, so I allow now audience to unmute themselves. Uh, and, uh, Bye, sir. Hello. One by one, please. Yes. You can ask me. Anything others, please keep your uh, microphone. Sir. Sir. sir, what is your website name? Arvind Gupta Toys dot com. A R V I N D. Sir, YouTube name. What is this YouTube name? Yeah, I will. I will send you. Uh, sir, will send you my website link. No problems about that. Huh? You will all so get the link. Okay. Hello. Yes. Thank sir. you, sir. Thanks. Sir, excuse me, sir. I have a question. Yes, please ask. Sir, what is your motivation to teach students? Sorry, one by one you can ask me a question. Your question is not audible. Please ask again. Excuse me, sir. No, I'm not able to get you, please. I'm sorry. What is your sir, what is your YouTube link, sir? YouTube link is arvindguptatoys.com. 
that's my website my website yeah i think yeah. Sir, one of the child asked what is your motivation so oh, my my motivation so well, like uh, um, i came from a very poor family both my parents had never been to school and uh, my mother you know sold her jewelry put us into the best school in my town and i i, I managed to go to iit kanpur but i have i've seen that good education is a passport to a good life and there are many many possibilities there are so many clever children in our country we need to invest in them that is why my my motivation i've been to 3000 schools then workshops criss cross the country uh, made everything available for free how many videos you do hello yeah please ask sir how many videos you do sir we have totally 8700 videos 1100 in english 1100 in hindi 1100 in marathi about 7 800 in telugu you would find videos in telugu sir yes you could dress to bomma chela ne yes it's largely toys from trash uh, using old newspapers for instance if you all use no old newspapers we make one dozen caps now this is a cricket cap half a newspaper and and you make a cricket cap experiment are very good thank you thank you very much for that Sir, uh, sir one of the child uh, one of the children asked yes how how you got the idea of making toys from the trash from trash you see if you wish to reach out to the poorest children they have no access to a laboratory they don't have these burets pipettes and all this fancy glassware and plastic ware most, most of the poor children are picking up bottles from the road side they picking up tetra packs from the road side so the idea was that this material is accessible to the poorest child this available free of cost and we must work towards finding possibilities with this material now this is a very good example uh, if a teacher is clever she will inspire the children because they know where a, a rubber slipper is lying in the village and next day they will bring 20 slippers into the school room right <laughs> so inspire children to collect all this material and build upon this it is low cost even if they make a mistake uh, there is no much loss you can always do it again so in the beginning of the session actually there was some internet issue yeah. so i wasn't able to understand the starting 3 to 4 experiments Now, with the straw the with the straw one see one one is this experiment i can show you this now this is a straw you make a very nice see i i flattened it on one side and with the help of the scissors i am going to cut two slants it's like a pencil point or a spear point can you see this point if you look from the side it is like a right crocodile a crocodile's mouth now this is a reed i am going to keep this in my mouth and blow out <laughs> this is the first experiment and then you can what like experiments <laughs> you can keep you can make a fruit of this kind yeah the, the other one is uh, you can see this this is a, like a spinner huh? we have flattened both these ends cut a small hole in this two diametrically opposite corners a small hole this is a fruity straw you can see the fruity straw with a small hole i put the fruity straw in this shut this there is a hole over here in the fruity straw ियर uh it came into uh, the one which has these uh, science models this also my first book which came into 13 languages uh, last year it got uh, translated into chinese but it's very much in telugu okay uncle thank you hello sir how are you so what is this called the tetra, the thing made up with by setting yes sir 
This is called as a icosahedron. Ico means twenty, made of twenty. Okay. Points. Thank you, sir. Sir, very good. 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 Sir, ఆయన డిమాన్స్ట్రేషన్స్ ఉన్నాయి తల్లి ఇందాక కృష్ణ సార్ మీకు చూపించున్నారు కదా మీరు దాంట్లోకి వెళ్ళారంటే టాయ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ట్రాష్ అని ఉంటుంది మీరు దాంట్లో చూసారంటే ఈయన దాదాపు థర్టీ ఎయిట్ ఫార్టీ ఇయర్స్ నుంచి ఇవన్నీ చేస్తూ ఉన్నారు నాన్న థర్టీ ఎయిట్ ఫార్టీ ఇయర్స్ నుంచి ఎందుకని మీలాంటి చిన్న పిల్లలు సైన్స్ ను గురించి తెలుసుకోవటం కోసం లిటిల్ సైన్స్ అని చెప్పి చిట్టి విజ్ఞానం తెలుగులో చాలా పుస్తకాలు ఉన్నాయి తల్లి ఆయనవి ఓకే మీరు వాటిని చూడండి వాటిని Sir, in which channel you are live now on YouTube? Arvind ji, good morning. Good morning. This is Prasad. Yes. PGVS, Gyanvi Gyanvedika. Hello, sir. Very nice to talk to you. How are you, uh, sir? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Gupta ji, I, I, I shared your website. They sir? They can do this. Very nice. Oh, that you can do, sir. You're very good. This sir. One. You type Arvind Gupta toys on YouTube yes. channel. You will yes. Yes. Yes, sir, what is it? Goal, sir, before you started this uh, toys making, what is yes. your goal? Uh, I used to work in a, I used to work in a factory, make Tata trucks in Pune. I didn't like my job. So after a couple of years, I left my job and I went to this village science program called as the Hushingabad science program. That, uh, there I, you know, 40 years back, I did this uh, when I was a very young engineer, 24 years old. And I thought this was so much better than making trucks. So I left my job and I've been very happy doing what I do, do now. Okay, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yes. How you got interest on experiments? Well, I told you that uh, I went to a village science program and this is something which I did 40 years back as part of that program. And... Uh, I thought this was making toys, making science experiments for children was much more interesting than making trucks. It's just that. And Sir, I remember, which year you started these experiments? This is many years back, 40 years back. Sir, okay. uh, Sir I'm Sujija. Sir, uh, what is your goal? Sir, I'm very excited to excite. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Sir, sir, your experiments are very nice. Thank you, thank you very much. I am surprised with your experiments, sir. You would like to need it more once you make them. See, once you make a... Once sir, we will try to make this experiment. Yes. Sir, sir, I am Chintanya, sir. I know your channel, sir. My grandfather has told to see your channel, sir. By seeing your channel, I am making this uh, model of the ribs. Oh, very nice. Good, Means good. your lungs. <laughs> good, good, good. Sir, okay, with matchstick, a monkey, monkey crashing something will be nice. Okay. In that way, with marble, sir, that one also I am making. Sir, what is your goal? Sir, my goal, what? Is to, my goal is to make it. Children interested <laughs> the world over in science. <laughs> the children must... The, uh, Injection with injection function, that one and so many I have mentioned. Good, good, good. <laughs> sir, Namaste, sir. Namaste, sir. I am a teacher from Andhra Pradesh, sir. Yes, sir. My name is Mangarani. Yes. Yes, sir, it's my dream to talk to you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. From so many years, I am watching your videos and I am making so many models from that. And I am using them in my teaching, uh, teaching, sir. Children very are nice. very interested to watch them and to play with them. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much, sir. Today I have got this opportunity to talk to you, sir. My pleasure, ma'am. Very good. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing that wonderful ideas with us. Today she has got a channel. Sir, you, sir, you did your experiments very good. One point. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, I also have a channel, sir. Good. Uh, good Mangarani man. lessons in YouTube. I have one lakh forty thousand subscribers also. Wonderful! How nice! <laughs> Very heartening. I'm man. sharing all my teaching experiences and these models in that channel, sir. 
very good very good we need thank you sir more thank you very like much you. sir Yes, I've been interested in science as a child, and uh, later when I started making these toys, I I understood science much better than I learnt in college. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thanks. Huh? Sir, sir. Hi, I am Prasad from Ripples Learning Campus. Okay, the so, life cycle you shown me. Yes. Sir, yes. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Very long Thank back. Very long back. So, so thank you so much like sir so yes. how you get this opportunity to excited to watch these experiments so thank you very much sir for giving this opportunity sir arvin sir this yes. is dr baba wali a resource person from ratnasagar okay. ratnasagar publications okay. we have a long association with you yes yes sir yes sir. and it's my privilege today it's i'm uh, feeling honored that i'm seeing you <laughs> and as i would like thank to personally thank krishna garu for yes. bringing you for this kind of pro this program thank really thank two things i appreciate sir one thing you're trying to you know inculcate uh, this scientific temper among the children and right. second thing you're trying to you know preach about the importance of secularism right, thank right. you very much yes sir. Absolutely, it's nice. Sir. Thank you very much, Krishna Garu. Once again, thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. For, What is your experience going through? Some of our students have made some toys just to show you on the screen. It takes one or one or two minutes uh, just to scroll through the uh, screen and see what they have done for you. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, children. So keep them so that they are visible to Gupta ji. Show it clearly. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can see Sainath and, and some toys. Yeah. Dilshad. This is much better. Good, good, good. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Oh, that's very good. <laughs> so magnetically weird. Yes, yes, same, same, same kind of. Yeah, they magnetically. Go to your website and just try. <laughs> very nice, very nice, very heartening. Wonderful. Oh, this a pump. <laughs> Sprinkler. Sprinkler. <laughs> very nice.
ஓ டம்ப ட்ரக் வெரி நைஸ் வெரி நைஸ் வெரி குட் Madhurima, show. Show your toy. Show it. Put it up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> good, good, good. What is it? Paisa. <laughs> show it. Okay, see. very good wow <laughs> balancing tour okay yes. great <laughs> that the lungs thing okay <laughs> very nice rishab show the fan show the fan right magic fan okay <laughs> wow wonderful Yes, show it. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Very nice. Akshra. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> very good wonderful motor yes yes very simple very, very, very nice great <laughs> sir uh, arvind gupta ji yes sir thank you so much no, sir my pleasure sir my it pleasure my dream actually yes Uh, so physically if it is possible definitely i'll meet so we'll, you we'll, we'll meet I, miss, i missed it uh, because uh, subrazu is not there with us <laughs> uh, definitely once you i think you are you are staying in madras right? no 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 pune is now so pune we move we move back to pune okay, okay. three so three years in chennai but now back to pune okay so anyway yes. so again thank you from we'll all. end now yeah thanks thanks goodbye everyone